hopefully to only next week. So we're gonna have to find an adventure for today. I am thinking, I do need to get a couple more groceries at the regular grocery store. And I think I'm gonna try and pick up some teacher gifts and get a few um, Christmassy gifts and probably do some online shopping for my nieces and nephews um, to get all the presents out uh, in time for Christmas. There we go. And maybe do a few more decorations around the house. We'll, we'll see what we get up to. See you in a bit. Good morning. Oh, the dog's gonna start barking. Our fence is getting put in today. As you can hear, the dog. Hey everybody, I've been trying to sneak away and um, record a little bit and I usually don't do this, like vlog, I've never vlogged before. So every time I start talking, my husband's home today, he's like, oh, are you talking to me? And he comes in and I'm like, no. Put the button again, hit the button again. So he stepped outside. Uh, we are getting our fence in. I'll try and video it because I'm gonna go out shopping here in a little bit. Um, I don't know if you can hear, they're, uh, they're drilling the post today. They're gonna set over the weekend and the fence will go up. This is very exciting. The dog and the children will be really excited to have the fence up. I will too, um, give us a little more privacy because we are the last house and we're on the corner and it goes to the um, main road that leaves the neighborhood. Uh, so everybody walks by and it's nice to see people, but still like they walk by our house to go walking and they drive by to come and go. So it would be nice to have a little privacy in our yard. And then I can give you some, a little tour of that. Um, but I thought I would show you, um, I got my patterns yesterday. So this is the candy cane stripes, candy cane stripe socks by Katie Litton, who is the crazy sock lady. Um, and I did get those cast on last night. So I'm hoping to get so the cuffs done and maybe a little bit of a stripe. So it's just white, very small. Um, so that one is started and the other sock I did have to swap out. I do still want that book um, from Stone Knits, but they are out of stock right now, which is wonderful for her, sad for me. So I did have to change up um, my, the cat scratching on furniture. Gree Gree. She don't listen to me, she don't care. Um, I did change my um, snowflake pattern for Michael and he, it, he, it has been approved. So this is the way wishing for snow i'm trying to read it backwards on the camera wishing for snow socks by running yarn and it is, it is toe up pattern but i'm just going to use the chart because i'm going to do a cuff down um so cute little snowflakes we're still doing the navy and light blue um and because his aren't as striped i did a little pop of color for the top um and then we've gone into the navy. And I'm gonna have to try and do this one during the day because knitting the navy at night was hurting my eyes. So um, my goal today is to get the cuffs done and get into the patterns for tomorrow. But I think I'm doing good. Um, Kay Jones's pattern of the Bakery Bears is coming out today for Advent. So once I get a chance to sit down and look at that, I will get the, the first part printed and hopefully cast that on this evening, maybe after the kids go to bed. That's all ready. I have my basket here full. I got all my little whips. And this this little basket I got from Bags by Awesome Granny uh, a few years ago. It's just a little notions pouch and it is super cute. I know it's Halloween, but I have everything in here. I have um, hand lotion, measuring tape. I got these little um, needle cases for you know your, your uh, finishing needles. Oh, I have a spool of thread. I have scissors, a ruler little case for um, my stitch markers and one of the little charms I did um, with Robin we did a kit um, potions kit it's a little cauldron I put on the zipper as a zipper pull I love it so uh, my notions pouch is ready to go all of my patterns are printed so far that I have and yarn is all in one place and I've put it in my basket so Knit, uh, Christmas knitting is uh, 
on the way. Um, this is my little reindeer here. Oh my goodness, I can't like, oh, I just punched him in the face. Um, I love reindeer and I decided a couple years ago that I had uh, on accident been collecting them. People just give you things at Christmas and I had been getting um, a different hodgepodge of reindeer and I just love it. So he's new last year. I'm going to see if I can find a new reindeer this year to, to add to my little collection. I like to get like one or two things each year. And um, oh, I'll show you one more thing, but I have to uh, pause and come right back. Um, so yes, so I'd like to add another little reindeer to my collection this year. Hold on. Whoa. <laughs> okay. Um, so I was at Target the other day, as mothers are, and people in general, everyone loves Target. And I bumped into a mom. We were all in the Christmas book section. I was just looking to see if there was anything cute that we uh, didn't have in our library yet. We have quite a few Christmas books. And she told me that her grandma was a school librarian and started a tradition in their house that every year she would wrap up the Christmas books they had already had. She would pick out her favorites or the kids' favorites and wrap them as an advent. So they read a book every night at Christmas for the whole month. And I love that. So I'm not sure exactly how many we have. We definitely, I'm not gonna attempt to get us up to 25. We might be close just because the boys are 10 now and we have gotten at least one Christmas, one to two Christmas books every year since they were little. So we will read one each night. So we started last night and I did buy a book that day and it's called As Cool As It Gets. This is um, by the stories, The Cool cool Bean, The Couch Potato, The Bad Seed, The Good Egg. No, yes. Um, and they are adorable and we've been loving them. Um, so this is by Jory John and Pete Oswald. And this is their holiday holiday book, as cool as it gets. So we read, open this. I didn't wrap it. I just surprised him with it. Um, I don't think I have enough wrapping paper to wrap up 25 books. So what I think I'm going to do is get a little basket, go through our Christmas books and put them all together and keep them out by our couch. So um, at night when we read a story, we can pick a book and um, maybe next year I'll get to the wrapping part. But I just thought that was great. We do usually read Christmas stories, um, but just having them all together in one place since right now everything's in boxes, um, I thought would be would be good and um, nice to do. So I'll put this up here. And I'm gonna go shopping. I'm gonna get teacher gifts today. I'm gonna get a few um, things for the boys and hopefully um, maybe some things for myself and my husband and my nieces and nephews. Um, so I'll take you along. y'all in on a little secret what it's really like to live in the south it was 40 41 this morning when I dropped the boys off and when I got dressed and left to go run errands I am in a long sleeve flannel shirt with long jeans and boots it is now 85 and I'm sweating 
So I'm going to go home, unload my groceries and all the goods that I got. Lots of shopping, I did really well, and I am going to have lunch and change my outfit. Hello. So I am back from shopping. Um, I got to Michael's. Um, I went to Five Below and to Carter's and then over to Walmart to get the rest of my groceries, but made out like a bandit. Um, so at the grocery store, I got these um, hot chocolate mixes and um, those are gonna be for the teachers. I got two packs though, because the boys have the regular teacher, art, uh, library every week, PE, and then um, they have aftercare, teachers, and their bus driver. So everybody's accounted for. And then the teachers in the morning in Carline, they were so cold this morning. I was like, we gotta get them hot chocolate. So I got hot chocolate packs and a pack of candy canes, and we're gonna make them little um, goodie bags uh, for the boys to, I'm just probably just gonna put them in a bag and give them to one of the, um, Teachers that's out because they don't really want the kids running all over. So at Michael's, I got this big, beautiful bow. So I have a wreath that I um, decorated a while ago and um, I haven't really ever updated it. So I was looking around at all the beautiful wreaths and I decided that I was just gonna get a couple things to update mine and everything was 60% off, so double score. So this has um, got the wire in it so I can really puff it out and of course, it's got reindeer. I didn't really find any cute reindeer that I want to add to my collection, so I'll keep looking there. Um, I got some little extra twigs and berries with pine cones and kind of a fake snow on it to put in the wreath. Got a, I think three of those. And this one is so cute. It's got a cardinal in it. My favorite. So um, it's just one of the green like fake pine wreaths um so i got all those and then i forgot about these um when target first put out like their dollar bin section with all the christmas stuff i got us uh, wooden letters that i think i'm gonna put somewhere with our stockings so sean michael eric and lynn so i did um, a lot of just looking at beautiful things. Um, I went over to Carter's and got some cute outfits that were all on sale for my nieces. And, um, I've got some, I just got bits and pieces. I have like all these things in my head of what everybody's getting. So I, I think I have a couple people finished, which is awesome because I need to mail out some things. I got a couple more decorations because why not? And um, yeah, I think I did. I think I did good today. So hopefully we can redecorate the wreath and hang that up um, this upcoming week. Um, yeah, that's about it. Uh, turned into a good shopping day, I guess. Um, we're gonna try and close on our house next Friday, so we'll try that again. And I don't know. That's all I have for now. So I might see you again later. Um, if not, I'll see you tomorrow.